Recently, Google's DeepMind Labs unveiled the third iteration of AlphaFold, AlphaFold 3, and it's actually insane how this revolutionary AI model can predict the structure and interactions of all life's molecules with unprecedented accuracy. Today we'll be talking about the technical details of what this model is all about, its capabilities, and how it's better than the previous releases. Now, back in 2020, Google's DeepMind rocked the molecular biology world by using AI to decode how tiny proteins behave. Fast forward to today with the latest incarnation of AlphaFold, the experts at DeepMind and their partners at Isomorphic Labs have cracked the code for all the molecules that make life tick even our very own human DNA. This is huge because just a few years back, AlphaFold was all about figuring out protein structures. But now AlphaFold 3 takes it up a few notches by helping researchers figure out DNA, RNA, ions, modified residues, and even ligands. According to DeepMind, this upgraded model boasts a whopping 50% improvement in prediction accuracy compared to its predecessors. DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis in a chat with reporters described AlphaFold 3 as another stride forward in AI's journey to crack the secrets of biology, following the groundbreaking milestone of AlphaFold 2. With AlphaFold 3 comes a library jam-packed with molecular structures. Wondering how it works? Well, on a high level, researchers just input a list of molecules they're curious about mixing up, and boom, AlphaFold 3 presents them a 3D model of the fresh combo using a diffusion method. It's the same technique used by AI image generators like Stable Diffusion, but we'll get into the details of how this particular diffusion architecture works later in the video. AlphaFold 3 has been a game changer, as it is helping isomorphic labs get a clearer picture of new disease targets. Also, DeepMind isn't keeping all the groundbreaking technology to themselves. They want the world to use it for the collective betterment of humankind, which is why they're offering the AlphaFold server, powered by AlphaFold 3, to researchers for free. This server allows researchers to predict the behavior of biomolecular structures without stressing about compute power. The CEO mentioned it's up for grabs for academic and non-commercial purposes, but Isomorphic Labs is teaming up with Pharma Pals to put AlphaFold to work in their drug discovery quests as well. Google is also teaming up with the scientific organizations, academia, and policymakers to make sure AlphaFold 3 is being deployed in the best possible way. Their very own academic paper acknowledges that some biosecurity experts are a bit wary since they believe that AI models might make it too easy for misanthropic people to create devastating pathogens and toxins. But Google's been on it since day one, therefore they take the complete responsibility of their release claiming that they only went public with this model after figuring out how the potential hazards and engaging with microbiologists, biosecurity experts, researchers, and industrial specialists. The advancements made by AlphaFold are poised to aid researchers across many various fields such as medicine, agriculture, material science, and drug development by facilitating the testing of potential discoveries, but how does this model actually work? According to the paper, the overall setup of AlphaFold 3 resembles that of AlphaFold 2, with a core framework evolving a pairwise chemical representation followed by a structure module generating atomic positions. But there are significant differences in each major component from the previous models. These upgrades were driven by the need to handle various chemical entities without excessive customization. In the core framework, multiple sequence alignment, or MSA, processing is notably reduced with a simpler MSA embedding block. Compared to the original Evo former from AlphaFold 2, the number of blocks is reduced, and MSA representation processing uses pair-weighted averaging, with only the pair representation used for subsequent steps. The pair former replaces the Evo former as the primary processing block, operating solely on pair and single representations. The pair processing and the number of blocks remain largely unchanged. The resulting pair and single representations, along with the input representations, are passed to the new diffusion module, replacing the structure module of AlphaFold 2. The diffusion module operates directly on raw atom coordinates and a coarse abstract token representation without rotational frames or equivariant processing. By simplifying the structure representation, AlphaFold 3 aims to maintain prediction accuracy while reducing complexity. This diffusion model is trained to predict true coordinates from noised atomic coordinates, allowing the network to learn protein structure at various length scales. At inference time, random noise is sampled and recurrently denoised to produce a final structure to generate a distribution of answers. 
The paper also claims that generative training used in this case helps in avoiding torsion-based parameterizations and violation losses on the structure, and it allows for handling the complexity of general ligands without requiring invariance or equivariance with respect to global rotations and translations. In the same section, the paper also discussed something very important. It acknowledges that generative models are prone to hallucinations, where plausible-looking structures are invented, especially in unstructured regions. To address this, a cross-distillation method enriches the training data with predicted structures from AlphaFold Multimer version 2, teaching AlphaFold 3 to mimic the behavior of unstructured regions represented by extended loops. This approach significantly reduces hallucination behavior as it follows AlphaFold 3 to learn from the successes and failures of its predecessor. Additionally, the model has been trained on data that represent disorganized regions as extended loops, enabling it to better capture the flexibility and variability of these regions. By incorporating these training enhancements, AlphaFold 3 takes a significant step forward in generating reliable and biologically meaningful structure predictions. Now that we've discussed how the model works, it's time to explain the key features of AlphaFold 3 and how it compares to its previous iteration, AlphaFold 2. Among its key advancements is the introduction of a new diffusion-based architecture, which replaces the AlphaFold 2 EvoFormer with the streamlined Pairformer module. This alteration enhances the system's ability to process multiple sequence alignments efficiently while prioritizing the prediction of raw atomic coordinates over rotational frames or equivariance. This allows AlphaFold 3 to accurately predict complexes containing nearly all molecular types present in the protein databank, a widely utilized repository housing 3D structural data for significant biological molecules. Moreover, the protein databank serves as a fundamental resource for training and assessing AlphaFold 3 and its predecessors. Secondly, AlphaFold 3 excels in different prediction scenarios, including protein ligand, protein nucleic acid, and antibody antigen interactions, and exhibits superior accuracy compared to both specialized tools and previous iterations, such as AlphaFold Multimer version 2. Thirdly, the incorporation of a latest diffusion model enables the system to effectively denoise atomic coordinates, facilitating the learning of protein structures across different scales. This generative feature fosters a more dynamic exploration of molecular structures, leading to enhanced predictions of both local and global configurations. Not only that, AlphaFold 3 also streamlines the handling of stereochemistry and bonding patterns, eliminating a significant limitation present in AlphaFold 2. This versatility enables the system to tackle various types of biomolecular interactions with ease. Lastly, the transition to a diffusion-based model also simplifies the training and inference processes, potentially resulting in faster and more efficient model training and deployment. AlphaFold 3's prowess in predicting molecular structures is undeniable, yet the journey in drug discovery extends beyond mere structural insights. It is about understanding the functional implications within biological pathways, necessitating additional computational and experimental endeavors. Pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics play pivotal roles, encompassing how drugs interact with targets and the body's handling of them, crucial for both efficacy and safety. These intricate processes lie beyond the scope of AlphaFold 3's capabilities. AlphaFold 3 faces limitations in predicting protein dynamics and conformational changes over time, which is of utmost importance to understand drug binding. It is particularly lacking with regions lacking fixed or ordered structures common in drug binding sites. Moreover, it cannot anticipate the impacts of post-translational modifications, such as a phosphophorylation on protein function, which are significant in drug target regulation. Also, it is restricted to predicting structures of individual proteins or small complexes, while many drug targets are large, multi-protein assemblies. AlphaFold 3 also at the moment cannot forecast the effects of mutations on protein stability, essential for personalized medicine, and does not model the cellular environment's complexity, including crowding and interactions with other biomolecules, vital for ensuring drug efficacy within the cellular milieu. The domain of drug discovery confronts challenges beyond structural prediction, notably in anticipating toxicity and side effects. Predicting adverse reactions and potential interactions with other drugs requires diverse models and experimental validations. These requirements reflect into the complex behavior of drugs within biological systems and highlight the key weaknesses of the best microbiological AI toolkit we have till date. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. 
Do you know that OpenAI has also released a new extended iteration of GPT-4, dubbed GPT-4.0, which will be available to the public for free? To jump right into the details of what this new model is all about, click on the video link popping up and we will catch you there in a second. See ya!